A few days after Joe Biden became the U.S. president, conspiracy theories emerged regarding his Illuminati Bible. These theories claimed that President Biden swore on a Masonic or Illuminati Bible during his inauguration, sparking viral discussions on social media. And although these rumors have been debunked, this topic has revived interest in the theme of secret societies and their role in contemporary global politics. Our today's episode is dedicated to perhaps the most mysterious and ominous secret order of humanity, the Illuminati. Watch this video to the end and join us in the historical investigation of this secret society. Find out who among the influential people of the global elite is considered to be associated with the Illuminati and what shocking crimes they are attributed to. So let's get started. We'll be broken up in the open field. Since the dawn of civilization, the powerful of this world have united in secret societies trying to change the course of history according to their goals. As if pulling the strings, they influence millions of human destinies. Wars, bloody coups, high-profile assassination attempts, cruel revolutions, each of these tragic events has an official version. But according to many researchers, the real truth is known only to the chosen ones, members of secret societies who govern the world. Some conspiracy theories focus on the secret society of the Illuminati, allegedly controlling all power on Earth. Does such conspiracy have historical justification, and do the Illuminati really rule our world? Let's figure it out together. So, let's go over some facts you probably didn't know. Who are the Illuminati? The Illuminati were a secret society that existed in Europe in the late 18th century, also known as the Bavarian Illuminati. The term itself was applied from the 15th century to several groups of intellectuals in Western Europe who claimed to be exceptionally enlightened. The word is the plural form of the Latin Illuminatus, meaning revealed or enlightened. There were also the Alumbrados, or Spanish Illuminati, followers of mystical forms of Christianity. In France, the Illuminati were called Eronceux, the sect of Pierre Herens, or Camisards, Protestant peasant mountaineers who rose in rebellion against the French king during the War of the Spanish Succession. There was also the Avignon Society of Illuminati, but in historical terms, the term is most commonly associated with the Bavarian Illuminati. History and Rituals of the Illuminati The Bavarian Illuminati Society was founded by Professor of Law Adam Weishaupt in early May 1776. Its goal was to replace Christianity with a new religion, the worship of reason, which was later achieved by the leaders of the French Revolution, an organization which, by the way, was accused of involvement with the Illuminati. The order maintained internal discipline and obedience, for which its members were divided into three classes. Starting with a small circle of his students, Weishaupt gradually began recruiting throughout Bavaria. From 1778, the Illuminati made contact with various Masonic lodges, from which they often managed to lure participants. At the height of its development, the society covered almost all of Europe, although its membership never exceeded 2,000 people. Overall, the Illuminati propagated a worldview reflecting the ideals of the Enlightenment. These included individualism, rationality, distrust of monarchy, and organized religion. Historians tend to believe that the Illuminati achieved only modest success. Much of their history is difficult to separate from the Chronicles of the Masons, with whom they were closely intertwined. As expected, in 1785, the Bavarian elector Karl Theodor banned secret societies and imposed serious penalties on their members. Most of the Illuminati's secrets were published, and the society simply disappeared. That's the official version. But was it really so? Signs and Symbols of the Illuminati if you think that the main symbol of the Illuminati is the triangle with an eye, then you are mistaken. This is how the all-seeing eye is drawn, one of the main Masonic symbols, representing the great architect of the universe or God. The central image of the Illuminati was the Owl of Athena, or Minerva's Owl, which symbolized wisdom and the supremacy of reason. At the same time, 
It is commonly believed that the intertwined hands in the triangle are the sign of the Illuminati. This sign is demonstrated by popular figures in pop culture and politics. Are they really trying to hint at their close connection to the mysterious and powerful secret society? The Secret Conspiracy of the Illuminati Conspiracy theories about the Illuminati emerged almost immediately after their dissolution. In 1797, British physicist John Robeson accused them of deliberately infiltrating the ranks of the Masons, while French abbot Augustin Baruel implicated them in the active participation in the French Revolution. In 1798, George Washington wrote a letter about the threat of the Illuminati, believing that it had been avoided. Over the next two centuries, conspiracy theories associated with the Illuminati often arose due to their resemblance to the Masons, the kings of conspiracy theories about secret societies. Joseph Ushinsky, a political scientist and co-author of the book American Conspiracy Theories, commented on the issue, stating, People will use the term Illuminati to define anything they dislike or that may challenge their values. Freemasons and Illuminati. What's the difference? Freemasonry is an organization with a history of over three centuries. According to its members, they have no political or religious biases. Their main focus is supposedly on living a moral life, believing in a supreme being, practicing tolerance, mercy, honor, and equality. There are about six million Freemasons worldwide. Over time, many famous individuals, from Wolfgang Mozart to Winston Churchill, have been members of the organization. Despite this, Masonic lodges are open to anyone who shares the organization's common humanistic values. Illuminati, on the other hand, existed for only nine years, after which the society supposedly ceased to exist. The main difference between the Illuminati and the Freemasons is religion. Freemasonry accepted believers. At the beginning of its history, only Catholics were accepted, but nowadays, Muslims are also accepted. The Illuminati, however, reject any religion and admit only atheists into their order. It's worth noting that both Freemasonry and the Illuminati admitted members of the public, individuals from families with ancient surnames, the aristocracy, scientists, and very talented young people. Mark Fenster, a law professor and author of the book Conspiracy Theories, Secrecy, and Power in American Culture, emphasizes, It's absurd in itself that the society has not existed for over 200 years, and yet we continue to argue about its relevance. The fact that the discussion is alive is remarkable. The Illuminati in Literature The Illuminati are attributed with monstrous deeds. They are portrayed in the works of popular authors such as Umberto Eco and Dan Brown. Like the Freemasons, they were bound by an oath of secrecy. They were forbidden to disclose the organization's goals and rituals. Surveillance and informing were encouraged in this society. Thus, traitors could be easily identified and neutralized. This secret organization was mainly involved in political intrigue and subversive activities. The main question is how this society manages to keep its rituals secret in our age of information technology. Even today, when people communicate actively with each other, we know little about the goals of this order, its rituals, and its members. The Illuminati in the United States It is believed that the Illuminati found their way to the New World after the order was banned by the ruler of Bavaria, Charles Theodore, in 1784, as we have already mentioned. Members of secret societies faced a range of punishments, loss of property, imprisonment, and public execution. Therefore, the Illuminati fled to America, where the political and religious climate was most conducive to the order's development. After all, if you think about it, the United States as a state was just forming and did not yet have an established government or church. It is believed that the Illuminati exerted significant influence on the future government of the United States, on the Founding Fathers, and on the global order as a whole. As evidence, the dollar bill is often cited. The Illuminati's motto became the famous phrase, New World Order, which you can observe on the dollar bill directly beneath the pyramid. The Roman numerals at the base of the pyramid, 1776, signify not only the year of the signing of the Declaration of Independence, but also nothing other than the year of the order's foundation. 
conspiracy theorist Fritz Springmeier identifies several clans of Illuminati participants, Rockefellers, Rothschilds, Astors, Collinses, Kennedys, Disneys, McDonalds. According to rumors, all these families form a world government as finances, media, religion, and secret circles are under the control of these individuals. Henry Macau, in his book Illuminati, The Cult That Hijacked the World, describes the Illuminati as a satanic cult that has colonized humanity. He wrote, Bizarre and incredible as it sounds, humanity has been colonized by a satanic cult called the Illuminati. This cult represents Masonic and Jewish bankers who finagled a monopoly over government credit, which allows them to charge interest on funds they create out of nothing. Naturally, they want to protect this prize by translating it into a political and cultural monopoly. This takes the form of a totalitarian world government dedicated to Lucifer, who represents their defiance of God. Thus, the people who hold our purse strings are conspiring against us. Skull and Bones At Yale University, which is considered one of the most prestigious universities on the planet, there exists a student fraternity called Skull and Bones. The entire American elite, including Gerald Ford, George Bush Sr. and Jr., Bill Clinton, many magnates and stockbrokers who studied at Yale University were members of this secret fraternity. Some believe that this student fraternity was created by the Illuminati to cultivate the American elite, which would later govern the United States and the entire world. Author, radio host, and conspiracy theorist William Cooper wrote in his book, Right or wrong, the world is covered with agents of the Illuminati who are attempting to cause that evolutionary jump their way utilizing evil, non-consensual treachery and piracy. We have not been taken into their confidence. The existence of the Illuminati order in modern times remains a subject of debate and speculation. While there is no concrete evidence confirming their continued existence, some argue that if such an organization exists, it likely adheres strictly to rules of secrecy, making it effective in preventing the spread of information about its activities. However, it is widely acknowledged that influential people around the world often come together in closed communities or organizations, such as the well-known Bilderberg Group. The combination of significant power and wealth can sometimes lead individuals beyond the boundaries of commonly accepted morality. In this context, the case of Epstein is often cited as it revealed connections to various influential figures, raising questions about potential involvement with the Illuminati order. The Epstein Case Jeffrey Epstein was born on January 20th, 1953, into a middle-class Jewish family. Without completing university, he somehow managed to secure a teaching position at an elite school, where he successfully built valuable business connections through the parents of his students. Engaging in business, he amassed a billion-dollar fortune through means that are not entirely clear, but he became infamous for his extensive activities involving girls of inappropriate age. According to one of his victims, Epstein boasted about having over a thousand of such partners. However, the most significant aspect is not just that, but the fact that he involved numerous well-known and influential individuals from the realms of politics, finance, and show business in his illicit activities. Epstein owned an entire island called Little St. James, dubbed in the media as Epstein's Island or the Island of Sin. He would transport his victims there, holding them captive against their will, while others stayed voluntarily. This island is notorious for being a place where he felt particularly private and where he indulged in activities that far exceeded what he did in his New York apartment or Palm Beach mansion. When individual reports from victims finally reached the police and the FBI, Epstein was convicted and sentenced to just 18 months in prison with the privilege of leaving the facility. However, in July 2019, he was arrested again, this time on charges of sex trafficking. Court documents mentioned 40 underage victims. The billionaire attempted to secure his freedom by offering hundreds of millions of dollars in bail, but he was unsuccessful. On August 10, 2019, he was found dead in his cell with the official cause of death ruled as suicide. Although Epstein's voice has been silenced forever, documents remain. The Federal Court of the Southern District of New York released documents that include the names of over 150 individuals involved in the case. Among others, the documents mention the names of former U.S. Presidents Bill Clinton and Donald Trump, as well as billionaires Bill Gates and Leslie Wexner, 
as reported by Bloomberg. In the enigmatic realm of secret societies, the Illuminati stands as a shadowy figure, shrouded in mystery and whispered tales of immense power. While its existence remains a subject of debate, the very concept of such an order raises profound questions about the nature of power, morality, and the limits of human ambition. Throughout the ages, individuals and groups have arrogated to themselves the right to control the destinies of peoples, to ignore the norms of public morality, and to spit on the laws that govern society. Such actions invariably lead to tyranny, oppression, and the erosion of human rights, and plunge mankind into dark times of deprivation and misery. Let us be wary of those who seek to control us from the shadows. Let us never forget that the greatest power lies not in the hands of a few, but in the collective will of the people. That's all the facts for today. We'll get back to you in a couple days with a new dizzying investigation. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel to always be aware of the most mysterious and amazing events of civilization.